Assembly has begun. All the parts and components moving toward the point where they will become a new Philco radio. With the tube sockets wired and soldered, the coil shielding cans are spun on. Things are coming together fast. More components are added to the chassis pan, and conveyors transport the growing chassis pan from one assembly area to another. Before our eyes, the radio is growing steadily towards a finished product. Meanwhile, on the floor below, there are three of these assembly lines to meet Philco's sales demands. As an example of Philco's leadership in the industry, they made their first television set in 1937. The belt moves just fast enough for each operation to be completed. Ready for more wiring, the inverted assemblies have wiring harnesses set in place. As other parts are added, each worker performs their task. Another chassis joins the assembly parade to soon become another Philco radio. Wiring done, the inspectors take over, checking solder joints. Note that every connection is readily accessible under the base for easy service, and those that don't pass inspection are removed for repair. And yet another test to maintain Philco's quality standards. Now on to a tour of Philco's furniture factory and workmanship that is rarely seen today. First, we see the legs turn. Sandpapering the legs automatically. Cutting out the speaker grill.
stroke sanding with a sanding pellet. Finally, with all the pieces done, it's time to do the cabinets. This massive clamp holds the cabinet until the glue is dry. The stain is sprayed on the top. After the lacquer is dry, the cabinet is hand rubbed. The final assembly and final check of the radio which guaranteed Philco's quality. Searching tests to check the accurate alignment of all units.